Usmania, MTech from IIT Delhi and PhD from UK and postdoctorate from UK in civil and structural engineering. His research, research interest includes structural design, a finite element analysis and analysis and design of complex structures and computer applications and structural optimization. He has won the best designer award of the year 2004 by Indian Concrete Institute AP Hyderabad for design of social of School of Information Technology building, JNTU University. He was awarded in 1988 the Common Health Fellowship to pursue the postdoctoral research at University of Wales, Swamsea. UK, the Eng Engineer Award for the year 1995 by the Government of Andhra Pradesh and the Institute of Engineers India, AP State Centre, and received the State Best Teacher Award in 2011 by the Government of Andhra Pradesh, and in 1989, Commonwealth Scholarship to pursue PhD in Structural Engineering at the University of Wales, Swansea, UK. He is a past chairman of Indian Concrete Institute, AP. Hyderabad Centre, past secretary of Indian Concrete Institute, AP Hyderabad Centre, executive member of Indian Institute of Bridge Engineers and a member of ACCE. He has been a member of several government committees. He has been the governor of MSET, a state level engineering and entrance exam of engineering, agriculture and medicine courses during the year 2011. Engineering College, Sibai Ravindar Garu, for having completed more than five years successfully producing successful graduates. I was very pleased to see the report read by the principal wherein he has highlighted the achievement of the students. I am also pleased that a lot of companies have come and actually participated in the placement activities. At the same time, I also feel that it is not enough. What is achieved is not enough. Something more needs to be done and especially in this role, the students, the faculty and all of us have a very, very important role to play. In fact, as students, you should have thirst for knowledge. You should be always inquisitive about what is happening around you. You should try especially to upgrade your knowledge in the area of your specialization especially circuit branches like electronics, computer science, and electrical engineering. We know that a lot of changes are happening, and these changes are happening very fast and rapid. If you don't keep abreast with these changes, you will become outdated, you will become unemployable. It is very sad to know that out of the 4.6 lakhs that we have, and 1.5 lakh students graduating every year, only 20% are employable. So what happens to the rest of the people? This is very, very important for all us to observe and note. In fact, when I was a principal, one parent came to me and said, Sir, my children, they got very good rank in MSET and they were admitted into the college, but now they are not getting good marks, they are failing. I told them, okay, you call your son and daughter to me and let me talk to them what is the problem, let me see. So while I was talking to the parent, the son was sending some message in his phone and the girl was also talking to somebody on mobile phone. Then I told uh, the parents, Sir, these days the students are not performing well because of 3M syndrome. What is this 3M syndrome? Students are always busy with mobiles, the first M. They are discussing always about movies, the second M. And the for boys, the third M is motorbikes, so they want to have the latest motorbikes. Then the same 3M is also applicable to the girls. The mobiles and the movies are common, but the third M is makeup. So they spend a lot of time in makeup, time waste. So what is important here is don't waste time on material things. It is very, very important that you should have a capacity to visualize, analyze and decide what is good and what is bad for you. Before he actually invented the bell. But what he had was he had constant persuasion, persistence. And this is where, this is very, very important to learn from them. So he has failed, but failure is the second I mean, 
stepping stone for success. So we should know that we have to learn from failures, we have to do things which others have not done. Unless you have that attitude, I am telling you, it is a very, very competitive world. Even you take your field of IT, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs. You know, Steve Jobs is the manufacturer of this Apple iPhone, Apple computer, iMac, everybody has that, iPad, I think, all this. In fact, now there is iWatch that is coming, which can do wonders. But if you read his biography, you will notice that he never went to college. And because of his skill, he was called to deliver the convocation at the address of Stanford University, which is one of the best address, best universities in the world. Similarly, your Bill Gates, he failed in the college, he started a business, Microsoft, he failed, but he never gave up. So don't give up. That was the motto. And with that motto, he could create, now what is Microsoft? Everybody knows Microsoft Office and what it can do and what wonders it has achieved in the engineering field. So there are a lot of examples in life. The Benjamin Franklin, you know, Benjamin Franklin came from a very, very humble background. See, there are people who come to me saying, sir, I am coming from a rural background. I cannot do this, I cannot do that. I said, don't worry. If you are coming from a rural background, you have still a lot of advantage. All you need is concentration and hard work. If you bring information that you want. So all you require is the will and the skill to achieve whatever you want. I am really your goal. With these few words, I once again thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Thank you.